Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview tutorial on the AnyType application and what it does and how to use it. AnyType is like a supercharged uh, notes app or it's not cannot even called a notes app because it can handle much, much more than just notes. You can, of course, um, handle your notes, you can plan your projects, you can add and follow up your tasks and so much more. So if you go to AnyType.io, that's uh, their website, you can scroll down here to see uh, or learn more about the product's features and what it can offer you here. So you can go ahead and learn more or read more about the product here. And if you want to get it, just simply click on get the app. You'll be redirected to the download page where you can download it from all types of platforms such as Mac, Linux, Windows and on mobile device on iOS and Android. So I've gone and downloaded the Mac version since I'm using a MacBook and uh, let's install it and see how the installer looks and once it opens up, let's see how it can perform and does for you. So install it here, add it to the applications. Of course, the installation process will vary depending on the platform that you are using. Okay, and once it's installed successfully, let's run it. So any type open okay open and now here it is open for you now uh, here you can create a new vault or if you do have a key let's create a new vault here so uh, this is my vault here that I can access to app uh, have access to all my notes my tasks my projects my data and everything so get my key here Okay, so they give you a key right here. I can click here to show it. It's a bunch or a combination of words right here. Be sure to remember it as it cannot be recovered. Okay, next. And now here I can add my name. Let's say I am called John. Okay, enter my vault. So your vault is like a secure place where you can add all your notes, your tasks, your everything. Okay, so show me what I can build. So they get you through a simple wizard to show you how you can use it. Okay. Now here I can uh, view the gallery. So I can explore experiences. So this is like uh, looks or uh, templates that I can use here. I have the community space, CRM if you are into CRM or customer relationship management, data vault, daily journal, family space, FRM, and so much more. Let's start with a simple habit tracker here. I can view it and I can install it. I can install it in my own workspace or create a new workspace just for it. So let's create it in my own workspace here. It's now importing and it is installed. So uh, here I have my home page. I can have the categories. Let's uh, expand this a bit. And here I have my home page and I have my habit tracker. So you installed, uh, you install like uh, just like widgets or add-ons here that you can access to view. Now uh, here I can have uh, my habit. This is a habit that is created by default, uh, which is sugar-free or like days where I don't consume sugar. And um, here I can uh, edit my sleep quality, my energy at the morning or at the evening, my focus, mood, and everything. So here I have, I can uh, expand it if I want to. Now let's go back to my uh, workspace here. Now let's go back here again. So this is my home page, which is a pre-installed page. I can add categories here to add like ideas or notes. And in here I have four ideas altogether, which are uh, these ones. I can expand any of them. So this is the idea one. Let's rename it to test idea, for example. And here in the ideas, they laid out so perfectly or smartly that any idea would give you like some tips on how to use the platform. So every page can be created within blocks here. So you can add a new block by typing in the slash and you can add a block type similar to what you'll find on tools like Notion. So let's add a numbered list. So this is like my first task my second task and so on and if i type in the slash once again i can add a title 
my important tasks and under it I can add like a um, a toggle list here that I can uh, expand here to show my task so task one task two and once I collapse it they are now hidden and I can add a title so these are tasks and once I expand it task one task two so it's pretty cool I can add also under any of them I can even add uh, media such as files pictures video audio PDF and others and I can add a numbered list checkbox call out and other types of text and I can also integrate an embed from many popular tools such as YouTube and Vimeo, of course, for video, SoundCloud for music, Miro for boards, Twitter, Figma, and other uh, others as well. And here I can have a line divider, I can have a dots divider, I can have a table. So you can even have a table here or an inline collection. Let's add an inline collection. I can add objects from my habit tracker or habit trackers widget. So let's add from habit trackers widgets here. And here I can add my habit tracker widget under my tasks. Of course, I can access the habit tracking page here separately or the habit tracker separately. I can also add it or uh, like uh, go at it from my test idea page here, which is the uh, first idea. And I can add uh, the hab open the habit tracker here and then add new habit to track and so on. Other than that, here I have my sets from the menu on the left. Here I have tasks, I have all the objects, I have bookmarks, I have notes. And the, uh, these are the recently added, so you can keep track of what you added. Here I can view the library, my own library, my audio collections, uh, bookmarks, files, and so on. And here I can view my workspace's uh, details. And I can go ahead and collapse it. And I can view the home page. Let's go to the home page pretty quickly. And in the home page, I can create new objects from here. So I can create a page, task, project, bookmark, set, collection, and type. So let's create a project, for example. Let's rename it to my project. Okay. And in this project, let's add a table. Okay. So an inline table. Okay. Three by three. And you can, of course, add columns and rows here. So you can enter your data. You can add uh, or move here the columns and the rows. So you can do pretty much anything here. So once you continue with it, you can uh, drag here and reorder your items. Of course, if you do have more than one. And you can add here, let's add a call out. So shout out to myself, for example. And here you can reorder them. So let's uh, let's have the table here at the side, or let's make the table under the shout out here. Okay. So as you can see, it's pretty easy and pretty uh, like versatile to use. Now let's go ahead and uh, finish the tasks here. So on the tasks, I have to create a dashboard. So this is a dashboard that can host other uh, items. I can install their mobile app on iOS and Android. Or I can delete any pre-installed objects. These are the objects that came pre-installed that help me or have the like written tutorial here that I want. And if I scroll to the very bottom, I can see here that I can edit the widget. I can add widgets here from a uh, favorites from sets, collections, recently uh, edited and others. Or from a compact list or a number of objects right here. And then add a widget that will be displayed on my page. So here I have my library, as I showed you. I have the bin where all the uh, deleted stuff goes to. Now here I have the recently added stuff. And uh, that'll be all done from within the workspace. Now, the uh, one of the strengths of any type is that it can work offline as well as online. So you don't need an internet connection for it to work. Unlike other similar tools such as Notion, for example, which has lots of uh, additional functionalities. However, it requires you to be online for it to work. Now here on any page, you can go ahead and click on the or hover over the plus icon to add notes, pages, tasks, projects, bookmarks, set and collection. And here you can search for anything or you can view the graph here that connects all your pages together, which is a pretty cool look if you want to uh, like, for example, 
change the location of this page and here you can play with it in a pretty cool look so here you can get like a tree uh, that shows you how your pages and your items are connected and here you can uh, see uh, the uh, in a flow here uh, view so uh, that's pretty much it that's how easy it is to install the any type uh, application on any platform and start using it for basic task management and project management as well as adding your notes and data.